Does the thought of cold calling make you break out in a cold sweat? I have some tips to help you learn the best way to overcome call reluctance. Keep watching. Christine Harrington here, the Savvy Sales Lady, your personal YouTube sales coach, helping you to become savvy at selling so you can shorten that learning curve and earn more money. Do you avoid cold calling? If so, you have the symptom called call reluctance. And yes, you can overcome call reluctance. I'm going to give you some tips to help you. But here's the catch. It won't happen overnight. But I promise you, if you do what I'm telling you to do in this video, you can learn how to move past it and become successful at cold calling. Tip number one, you have call reluctance because you're probably lousy at cold calling, right? I know, I used to be. However, when you become competent at cold calling, your confidence will automatically increase. And the only way to become competent at cold calling is studying it and practicing it. Here is a playlist on cold calling that I know will help you. In this playlist, I give you even more tips and strategies. You see, I have mastered cold calling. It is one of the things that I'm best at. And I want to be able to help you master it too. Tip number two, as you're learning more about cold calling and you're practicing it in order to master it, be self-aware. Be self-aware of the self-talk that's going on in your mind. Ask yourself, why is cold calling so uncomfortable to you? You see, our minds will naturally seek pleasure instead of seeking pain. So, when you're supposed to be cold calling, your mind will start to protect itself, protect you, and start telling stories around why you shouldn't be cold calling. When you're aware that this is happening, you can stop it and redirect your thoughts. Mel Robbins' five second rule is perfect for this. And here's a simplistic explanation of the five second rule. Now, when it's time to cold call and you've already done all your cold calling prep work, your mind might tell you things like, you know, Christine, you really are busy right now. Maybe you should put this off to another day. Or, ah, it's Monday morning, Christine. This isn't the best time to call people because they're too busy setting up their week. These are nothing more than excuses and stories we tell ourselves in order to avoid the pain. So when you become aware of these thoughts invading your mind, stop and redirect your thoughts by counting five, four, three, two, one, go, and pick the phone up and start dialing. This disrupts the mind and you're acting before you give yourself time to even think about it. And by the way, this tip works in all areas of your life. Tip number three, the deepest reason why you have call reluctance is nothing more than fear. Fear of rejection, fear of the person hanging up the phone on you, fear of sounding unprofessional, fear of not being taken seriously, and fear of being embarrassed. And I could go on and on with more fear-based thoughts and assumptions. Many times we build up fear to be so big in our minds that when we actually stop and do the thing we fear the most, usually it's not that bad, right? So whenever you start to make assumptions, whether it's about call reluctance or anything that you're doing, Always ask yourself, do I know this to be true? So for example, if you tell yourself, I better not call on Monday mornings because people are just starting their weeks and if I interrupt their day, I may upset them. Do you know that to be true? Really? 
No, that's just an assumption to keep you from not cold calling. But whenever you have reluctance in any area of your life, really what you're doing is just avoiding the pain or avoiding being uncomfortable. And in the sales world, it's all about being uncomfortable. You have to work outside of your comfort zone. And the truth is, if you're not cold calling your prospects, one of your competitors is cold calling your prospect. So get in the game. Use these tips to help overcome call reluctance. And if you wanna know more about how to change your mindset so you can overcome call reluctance or overcome other things in your life that are holding you back, I wanna invite you to click on the link below called Peak Performance Mindset. I'll put it in the description. And I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time that I upload a video. And I'll close with this. Remember, sales is a journey. It's not a quick trip around the block. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.